Many people are familiar with the law of attraction. And for those that may not be aware, the law of, tra of attraction basically states that we attract all the things that we think about. Um, and if we think of, if we, you know, want something um, and we think about that thing that we can, can get it. But I, I think one thing that people don't understand about the law of attraction is that simply that um, that's, not, that's not exactly enough and it's not quite accurate. So if our desires and our beliefs don't match up, the law of attraction isn't going to happen for us or we're getting in the way of those of attracting our desires. So in order to match up your beliefs and your desires, in order to get all the things that you want, there's one of two things that have to happen. Um, you have to either change your beliefs to match your desires, or you're gonna have to change your, just you're gonna have to change thinking about that subject altogether so that your beliefs don't get in the way of your desires. So in terms of changing your beliefs to match the desires, there are some strategies and things that you can employ to make that happen. Um, so, you know, there's things that I've talked about in the past, whether it's um, creating focus wheels on the topic of your desire. Um, there's things like um, the emotional guidance scale that I've talked about, and then I'll probably talk about more in depth in the future. Um, that can really help you to change your beliefs to match the desire your desires. But then you might be thinking, Doug, there's no there's no way I'm ever going to necessarily believe I'm going to like, for example, get a brand new Mercedes, even if I desire that thing. And I'm not I'm not here to change your mind on that. Like maybe you're not going to get to a point where your belief and desire won't match up on that thing. But that doesn't mean that you can't get a brand new Mercedes. What you need to then do is change the subject altogether. Do not, do not think about getting that um, brand new Mercedes because you, your belief is going to be that you're, why do I not have that thing? Or I'm upset that I don't have that thing. So you just need to change the topic altogether and focus on things that give you positive feelings and things that make you happy. So, you, so your beliefs do not get in the way of getting that brand new Mercedes. So it's really important for us to pay attention how you feel on a subject matter. And, you know, you know, a really good starting point is just, you know, you know, in, in a one day's time, just, you know, maybe jot things down or, you know, you know, use a voice memo just to, to just to start paying attention and being aware. Now it's an ongoing process. We're never going to be perfect with this thing, but, but, continuing on a daily basis to paying attention to how you feel about particular subjects and, and then either changing your beliefs on that subjects or just changing the subject matter altogether before you go down a road of negative thoughts on that subject are really, a, are really two essential ways to attract the things that you want in your life. So if you're interested um, beyond this short video in learning how to attract all the things you want in your life, book a call with me today. A link to book that call can be found in the comment section just below this video. As always, I'm so grateful for you listening to me.